Today in the wood yard, we're gonna split wood, cut wood, deliver wood. Coming up right now. Here we go. Today is a glorious, beautiful day in the wood yard. Our cold spell that we've been having has been snapped. Uh, we've had about a week and a half, two weeks of below zero temperatures. Um, it's been anywhere from zero to as low as like 20 some below degrees actual temperature. Wind chills have been 30, 35 below. And today it's finally turned the corner. It is right now a blistering 11 degrees, but the wind isn't too bad today. You can see the flag back there, it's just barely moving. So it's not too bad at all. And the sun is shining, birds are singing. There's joy in the world again, and in the wood yard, in the world and the wood yard. So today what I'm gonna do, first thing is we're gonna come over this way. We're not gonna split wood right away. I'm gonna do that though. I just uncovered the splitter. We're gonna do a little bit of cutting, but I got an order for a, load of wood it's uh two thirds of a cord or two face cords and i am going to uh, load that up first because that delivery is at the end of the day today but i want to get it done now so it's done so when it's time to go i can just take off and go deliver it it is for two face cords of oak and unfortunately the only oak i have left is back here so this pile right here is cherry. So it's kind of in my way to get back to this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tarp, I'm gonna throw it down right here and get so it's uh, um, you know blocking from hitting the snow. I'm gonna throw all the cherry, that's just one face cord here, throw that on top of this and then cover it because that's a measured face cord. And now I'll be able to back the trailer right in here from there, I'll be able to back right into here and get at this stuff and I can start selling this stuff because this is what I've got left. It looks like I've got, if I had to guess, maybe 30 or so face cords. So something like that, 10 full cords, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, I don't know. But that's what's gonna happen first. We're gonna load some wood, so here we go. Because I'm not the sharpest stick in the woods, I realized when I was over here looking about how I'm gonna get this wood in here, this whole row here, which is I was just over there, this whole row here is all oak, and this row right here is oak, and the wood right back here is oak. So I don't have to move that wood after all, so I'll just leave it like that and I'll sell it probably in the next week or so. So this whole row right here is two face cords because it is 16 feet long by four feet high, so it's a two thirds of a cord. So that's what I'm gonna throw in right now. There is another fine looking load of oak ready to go, ready to be delivered. Had a little problem here as I was loading. Um, when I stacked this wood back in whenever last year, it was probably in uh, February, March, probably March when I got stacked. I split it in January and February, this whole pile here. I cut it and split it. Um, this pile right here is cherry on this side, and this was all oak right through here. Well, what I did was I put that cherry up against it without building a crisscross on the end here. It was just up against it. So when I pulled the oak away, of course, the whole pile came down. And I thought when I was stacking it back last spring, like late winter, I thought, well, I'll deal with it when it happens or I'll sell this cherry first anyway. I thought, well, I didn't. 
So of course when I got down like halfway the whole thing kind of caved in on me. I don't know if you caught that on the time lapse. But anyway, I dug out all the oak that was in there and just left the cherries. So now I'm gonna have to make sure I get the right amount when I go to sell that. So that's what happens when you're not the sharpest stick in the woods. Little things like that happen, but that's okay. I got it loaded and it's ready to go. So now we're gonna go do some splitting. So I'm back over at the splitter. Uh, the wood is loaded and now I'm gonna start the splitter up. It's the first time in, oh boy, it's gotta be over a week since I've run it. Um, but I got this little bit of wood right here. I'm gonna get this split. And then when I get done with that, then I am going to, oops, sorry about that. After I get this split up, I'm gonna go get uh, my chainsaws. I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting and then we're gonna go do a delivery and then maybe a little bit more cutting. We'll see how much time we got. Beautiful day though, absolutely gorgeous. It warmed up now to about 16 degrees. Awesome, and it's not bad at all out here. Excellent for working outside. I know those of you in warmer climates probably think this is just unbearable, but it's beautiful for working. Here we go, starting her up right now. See if I can do it left-handed here.
so there it is. I split for just a little over an hour, which is about right, because I had just a little over a full cord there to split from what I could guess from what I cut, because that's about what I cut the other day. And I moved the splitter over now so I can be more productive instead of throwing wood. What I like to do is have the splitter so that uh, the engine is right into the pile. So I'm gonna cut this stuff and then throw it right here and here. And then what I'll do is I'll let it just fall off the end. I won't have to throw it anymore to get it over that way. But I had to kind of do that with this pile. I had to throw it to make room because obviously I have the rest of this pile and all that pile and I want to get it all right in here um, so that I can open this area up to get more wood. So I moved the splitter over, which works out great now to be able to let it just fall off that end, no more having to toss it. I also threw this wood right here. These are pieces what when I uh, split them down, they were just dry as could be on the inside, just crackled and you could tell there was no moisture there at all. So that stuff will be ready to sell right away. And there'll be more in here as I go, as I cut. I'll probably end up with, you know, a, a face cord or two, something like that. That's usually what happens. There's a lot of that that I probably could have thrown into that pile where just the center, a little bit of it was wet but I'd rather just have it be all the way dry so it's ready to go I really don't want to sell um, wood that isn't totally uh, dry and ready to burn so the splitters there and uh, I got the pile here I'm gonna do some cutting on I can't tell you how beautiful it is out here today it it is it's got to be 20 degrees by now I mean I don't even need gloves anymore other than handling wood I mean it's not cold like it was and 20 degrees might seem cold for some of you but for here um, three days ago it has uh, warmed up 45 46 degrees since about three days ago because we were in a 20 some below category uh, temperatures with wind and so it is way nicer out here it's just beautiful the sun feels fantastic i'm actually sweating so now i'm going to go deliver my load of wood and then when i get back from that then i'm going to do a little bit of cutting on that pile so that's what's happening here we go Well, I'm back from my uh, wood delivery and I got about an hour of daylight left so I just brought out one saw and I'm gonna cut until I'm out of gas and then that's gonna be it for today um, this gas can I'm using I just noticed that Mike Morgan just did a uh, review on this gas can I've been using these for years no question these are the best gas cans there are they got a it's a relief spring in here. You push on this and your gas comes out. You can't spill it without pushing into the, the green button. It's got a uh, uh, air release so that you're not uh, glugging and you can control the flow and they're absolutely excellent. They come in a two and a half gallon and they also come in a five gallon uh, version and, and they're, they're not cheap. I think this is like, I don't know, they're $22, $24, something like that, which for a gas can, I guess is, not cheap but they do work excellent and out of any gas can i've ever used that are the safety ones which all suck these are the only ones that don't suck um and i'd got mine at just a local box store it's called fleet farm around here from the around the midwest there's 20 some locations but you can order them from them right online um and uh, fleetfarm.com and uh, it's basically a man store for those of you that don't know everything that you could possibly want they have guns ammo food tools it's a good store anyway we're going to start it up to let it warm up a bit and then we're going to do some cutting
Look what I found. Nails.
she wrote, I would have guessed. There it is, one tank. And all sweaty and wet, I wish I could just keep cutting now. The saw is cutting awesome. The sharpness is spectacular. I don't even need to sharpen it, I don't think. It, right at the end, it was cutting as good as it did in the beginning. I avoided hitting the ground. I avoided those nails you saw, which were right here. I'll show you. See the nails right here? Whole cluster of them. And then on the same piece, there was these two here. It's always nice when you can see those before you cut them. So I avoided those. And I have a collection of all kinds of goodies I'm going to show you someday. I've got, uh, I've got tree steps, you know, the cranking tree steps for climbing, for deer hunting. I've got some of those I've uh, found, almost cut into one once. Big spikes, nails, staples, fence, bullets, birdshot. I mean, I've cut just about everything. And uh, yeah, so I got a whole collection. So someday I'm going to go over and show you all my prizes that I've found. So yeah, I cut a whole bunch. Now tomorrow, I think, my plan is it's supposed to be nice again. Not sunny tomorrow, but it's supposed to be warmer yet. Right now it's 19 degrees. The sun is just setting, as you can see. So tomorrow is supposed to be in the 20s, but not sunny, which is okay. There's no wind, which is just beautiful for looking outside. So tomorrow I'm going to get this batch right here that I just cut. These here and this pile right here. I'm going to get those split. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the rest of this. And there's not that much. Holy smokes. That's great. So I think tomorrow I should be able to finish this whole row easily. Should be able to get it split, and then cut, and then split, and maybe I can even start in over there on that one. Depends if I get any orders for firewood. If I get orders, I gotta go do those, so it could happen. But anyway, that was awesome. Beautiful day. Wish you guys could be here working. It's as good as it gets. Thanks for being here. That's it for today. Please hit the buttons, like, subscribe, share. You know what to do. Hit them all. Tell your friends, neighbors, wives, cousins, neighbors, wives, and your girlfriends, all of them. Call them. Tell them. They should be here watching. It's the place to be. And tomorrow, I will be here working on this. And you should come along. It'll be fun. Between now and then, get out in the woods and get cutting. Good night, Irene.